I've heard a little bit of a recurring theme in the last couple of weeks with, uh, uh, in particular, brokers. So people really tuned into the uh, multifamily industry. And it's been this theory or guess that we're going to have a bullish market starting again in 2025. So in next year. Now, today I want to talk a little bit about the building blocks of the industry we're in, which is supply, the amount of, of possible um, options for people out there to live for apartments, and demand. Um, what I want to talk about today, and I won't really talk about it a lot on this, on this show, is construction, new construction. And I want to kind of think about this a little bit out loud with, with the, the audience. Just San Diego County, this year, 3,000 new units. Now, a small percentage of that are going to be affordable because that's just the way it's been for the last 50 years. But most of those are market rate. So what do we know about market rate apartments? Uh, they're very expensive and difficult. We've talked about that to build. But let's just talk about the pricing on it. So expensive to build. These developers, these investors have to get big rents. A lot of these are high-level, new, luxury units. Even if they're in B and C uh, submarkets, they're still going to get top-level rents. What does that do? It kind of sets a high bar for a one-bedroom, two-bedroom, three-bedroom, et cetera, or studio. And it sets a high bar on where the rents are. So what that does is it naturally pulls up the below the rents in the older properties, the not the new construct, the existing units essentially. So on a local basis, we've got 3,000 more units coming online. That may sound scary to people because we got, we've got more supply. That obviously takes prices down if the demand is the same. But I think from the majority of the clients that we that, that, that we handle and that we deal with, we're not talking top, top tier luxury rentals here. We're talking kind of working class, um, workforce housing, we call it. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I have a blast doing these weekly videos. I hope they add value to you holistically in the real estate business and in life. I know everybody says this, but if you wanna support me, please click on the like button below, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna talk about anything personally with your real estate goals um, or interests, Chris at mangotreerealestate.com, or you can go to my website, which is pretty slick, mangotreerealestate.com. Now back to the video. And I think we're gonna see some really nice growth in San Diego in the next 2025, 2026. So I kind of tend to agree with this theme that I'm hearing from other people. If we go out to the nation, that's where things get really interesting. So this year, 2024, expected there's 600,000 units to come online nationally, the whole country. 2025, next year, 400,000 expected. And this is all statistics that came out literally this week. This is all brand new data. 2026, let's go out two years, drops down to 220,000. So 600, 400, 220. Why is that? Well, it could be the cost of permits and entitlements, the cost of construction, labor, um, whatever it is. We won't even go into that. We could have a whole nother show on that. But what I think we're going to see is less new construction happening as we kind of go into the future. This is what I'm expecting through this little uh, crystal ball, figurative crystal ball that I like to kind of talk about, is I think we're going to see nice pressure on rents to grow as we go forward in this market and we get through this time of kind of stagnant times. It's just, I, I just think of like still water. We haven't really seen much, um, we haven't seen really any growth and rents have kind of dropped a little bit or softened a little bit in, in uh, most parts of the country and even San Diego, which is kind of this insulated uh, vacation lifestyle market. So good news for people out there that are buying real estate, that are kind of continuing to expand. Things have been pretty, pretty soft. And we've got all these, um, you know, statewide regulations with rent control and these fights that we have. But I think we're going to be going into a pretty strong, I hate to say the word bullish, but I think we're going to see some nice pressure upwards on rents, 25, 26, 
and a lot of it I think is going to be uh, be is going to be the redu the re the reducing amounts of of units coming on year to year, and also the higher end new construction luxury units pulling all the lower existing rents up. So a lot of good stuff to look forward to. Let me know what you think. And if you're curious on your, on your personal property or your scenario, reach out to me. There's never pressure to do anything. I can run models for you. And it's typically helps people out a lot. Be well.